and a good morning to the online community. <clears throat> We're on Facebook and on YouTube. Um, most of the times I um, <clears throat> stream on a page called Catholic Prayer at Home on Facebook, but uh, I have a crossover page, two crossover pages, Pray Every Day, and um, Committed to Daily Christian Prayer, which is where we're streaming today. We're also streaming to YouTube. Our nonprofit Lamps Aglow makes these videos possible. So we rely on friends like you to continue offering content. Uh, click the link in the description to purchase a Pray Every Day wristband for yourself or for someone else. Share the joy. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, may every work of ours be grounded in truth, be exercised with purity of heart, and achieve results that yield goodness, generosity, and growth. As we pray together, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Every year, the church celebrates the cycle of life from conception to death, but not death being an end, rather it's a new beginning. There's a reward there. The whole church, the whole body of the Christian faithful celebrates this cycle. It's not the cycle of conception to birth. The cycle is to death, but it is from conception to birth to ministry and then from ministry to death, and death to rebirth. And it's not an optional cycle. It's something that we all experience often. It illustrates an event or a series of events that have to take place in order to achieve fulfillment. Christ's coming fulfills the law. It didn't end the law or circumvent the law. It fulfilled it. Christ's death didn't end his life. It fulfilled it, giving life in general purpose. It created the opportunity for rebirth. When we can see this, the necessity of this cycle that's perpetuated in our journey and the journey through the generations, then we can begin to explore it with confidence rather than with fear. What does it mean for us? What does it hold for us? What promises are in, encompassed in that? And what does God have in store for those who love him? A line out of scripture. Jesus taught from the day that he was conceived to the moment he breathed his last on the cross. And he continues to teach, but we'll get back to that later. In his conception, Jesus taught us humility the greatest humility one could have, total dependence on other. In his young life, Jesus taught us obedience, obedience to parents, obedience to the law. He didn't distinguish between the two. In his ministry, Jesus taught us not that the law of Moses was ineffective, but how to live that law to its fullest intent to love one another, to love your neighbor as yourself. And in his death, he taught us how to embrace death and how to continue on. In this video blog series that we'll be exploring over the next few months, we will explore that whole cycle from conception, and I always say conception, not birth, from conception to death and to resurrection. It's not just a one and done. We're not just born, we live, we die. It's a process, one that can be positive and lead toward reward, or one that can be destructive and lead to ruin, spiritual and physical ruin. And then we'll also look at the cycle and how it affects us, how it applies to our own lives. And then we'll explore how to live this cycle not once, but repeatedly throughout our lives, and how our cycle is affected by others, and how we affect others in their cycles. And then 
Jesus returned to continue teaching, and he continues to teach us every day. Will you take this journey of exploration with me? Will you invite someone to take this journey with you? Stay tuned for video blog segments in the coming weeks and months. We're going to begin at Christmas time, the birth of our Lord, the beginning of our understanding of humility, dependence, and trust. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, we honor you for setting the universe in motion with such complexity and beauty. May we always challenge ourselves and others to turn to good and to strive for purity of heart. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Feel free to post questions as we explore life, death, and resurrection together over the coming months. Times will be announced online. <clears throat> if you find this helpful, do invite a friend, share, like, and comment, because the more interactions we get, the more people see our video blog. And again, I'm so grateful for Lamps to Glow for making these video blogs segments possible. Uh, we have a Prayer is Good campaign that's been running all year, all 2021, and it continues. And that campaign is to appreciate one another by sending a Pray Every Day wristband to a friend. Um, and it comes with uh, a, a little prayer card. Click the link in the description to tell us who you would like to acknowledge. Have a wonderful day. God bless.